Welcome back guys. In this video I'm going to be pressure canning some bell peppers and some banana peppers. That's these here. So I'm going to stuff them with some uh, mince hamburger or mince meat as we call it here and um, we're going to be adding some carrots and onions and some parsley and then just season it to uh, my liking. Um, then I'm going to pressure can. These have to go in the pressure canner, okay? So I'm going to get these uh, washed and seeded and uh, make up the uh, filling and then I'll come back and uh, show you the next step. So in my cast iron pan I've got some uh, onion and carrots and some parsley that I'm going to be frying up and uh, then I'm going to be adding the, uh, the meat. Um, the hamburger or um, mincemeat as we call it here in Australia. So I will also season that and uh, I will have to do this in batches. So these will be the stuffing that I'll use for my uh, bell peppers and the banana peppers. So I've got the uh, mincemeat and it's beef that I'm using and I've also uh, seasoned it. I've um, got some salt in there. I've got some onion powder, garlic powder and uh, a Moroccan spice. So I'm going to cook this down and then like I said I'll need to be doing these in batches. Sorry guys, I had a bit of a malfunction with the uh, camera so uh, I didn't realise that it wasn't recording but uh, I can talk you through it. Now here we've got the uh, banana uh, peppers and uh, all I did uh, was take the tops off, take the seeds out and stuffed them with the filling and I managed to get two banana peppers and uh, uh, a bell pepper in that. Now this, these are three, I've got three in this jar which I was really pleased about. So now in these other ones they're all got just uh, two bell peppers so uh, I think they come out lovely. Nice colour is a yellow one. So what I'm going to do now is uh, pop my sauce in and then get them into the canner. So I do apologise for that, but all I basically did, like I said, you just cut the tops off. So I'll bring that in. Take the seeds out, put the stuffing in and pop them in your jars. That's all there is to it. So I think they're beautiful. Okay. Okay guys, so I'm having a lot of problems today with the camera, but uh, I've done six and uh, I've saved one to show you what I did and basically, I mean you can leave them like that if you like and can them like that, that would be fine, a lot of people do. Um, I'm going to do the sauce and uh, that's just personal preference, I know some people like the sauce, some people just like them as they are and that's fine. I didn't, um, I put the sauce about no, not quite halfway, and um, I'm happy with that. So, as you can see, that they look lovely. So, now I'll get my vinegar, wipe my rims, another cloth, wipe that vinegar. Okay, I'm using four jar lids, on that goes, and these just screw down finger tight. Okay, so I'm going to get these in the canner, they're going to go for 90 minutes, these are quart jars, and um, you couldn't do them in pints unless, well the wide mouth, I tried that for pints, and I could only get one small bell pepper in there, so I could get two in here, so that was great, and the, the banana ones, I've got three. So I'm happy with that. Now the other thing, the tops that I cut off the bell peppers, a lot of people just throw them out. Um, I go around and uh, just take all the little bits off. And uh, I was amazed just how much wastage goes when you, they throw out the tops. And uh, now I can freeze dry these. I've already got some in my freezer that I'm going to freeze dry or I can just saute these. We like them. I like them like that anyway. So uh, that's another thing, hang on to your tops and save all that. So I'm going to get these into the canner and then I'm basically going to show you when they come out because uh, like I said I'm having a bit of trouble with my camera today. Okay, thank you. 
So the jars are in the uh, pressure canner and uh, I let it vent for 10 minutes and then I popped on my jiggler. Also the little nipple that's here has also popped up and that's to tell us that there's pressure in the canner. So now once this comes up to pressure, my elevation is 10, we let it go to 11 and uh, then I'm going to time 90 minutes as these are quartz. Okay guys, so I've taken them out of the canner and they're all bubbling away beautifully. I don't know if you can see that, but they look really, really good. So they're going to sit here until tomorrow morning and uh, I will wash them with soapy water and then put them away um, on my shelf. So these make great meals. We had some for tea tonight. Um, I cooked some in the oven. And this one is bubbling like crazy. Still going. That's lovely. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, thanks for watching.